Today we're hearing from the 49ers for the first time since the shooting. Players got to visit with Pearsall in person at their practice. There seemed to be an overall sense of relief, and the incident appears to be bringing the team closer together. ABC 7 News South Bay reporter Zach Fuentes joins us live from Levi Stadium with that part of the story. Zach. Yeah, Amma, the team is practicing extremely hard today ahead of their big game on Monday, and they're in a good headspace now, too, after having seen Ricky Pearsall in person. Now, general manager John Lynch says given what happened to him, he's doing incredibly well. An immense feeling of relief and excitement among the 49ers Tuesday, both on the practice field and in the locker room. Bunch of energy in the building. It all comes after they got to see their teammate Ricky Pearsall for the first time since he was shot. Man, just hug them, just hug them, and uh, just just let them know, man, just take it at his own pace. And right now, that's what 49ers general manager John Lynch said they're allowing him to do for now, putting Pearsall on the non-football injury list. We had to we had to act quickly with that decision. I wish I wish we had some more time to make it, but ultimately we fe felt. Um, the number one thing we had to be concerned with was Ricky's well-being. But according to Lynch's update, Pearsall may not be on that list for too long. There's nothing short of miraculous that he came out of this as good as he did. Lynch, who visited Pearsall at the hospital, confirmed that Pearsall did not suffer any nerve or organ damage. During Tuesday's press conference, Lynch also sent a big shout out to the SFPD sergeant, Joel Harrell, who was on hand to help Pearsall until paramedics arrived. She was there for him in a real rough time, and I know how appreciative Ricky is of that. Um, we're appreciative to the entire police department. Pearsall first got to talk with his teammates Saturday via FaceTime at a training camp party. And we had a team party uh, that was scheduled. Uh, when I got to the hospital and visited with Ricky, it was one of the first things he said, Mr. Lynch, what's going on? I, you know, I'd really like everyone to, to go to that party, and I'd also like to talk to some of my teammates. I said, Ricky, you take care of yourself, but... Um, you know, kind of a cool moment. We were able to pipe Ricky into the party, and uh, he FaceTimed the entire group. Still, the team tells us nothing beats seeing him in person. As soon as I saw him, I smiled, man. Like, I just, I smiled, went and dapped him up, hugged him. Up. The shooting that injured Pearsall comes just as the team is overcoming some turbulent times. Late last week, it was reported that wide receiver Brandon Ayuk finally reached a deal with the team after high-stakes contract negotiations. Now, Tuesday, it was announced that star left tackle Trent Williams is finalizing a new deal after a prolonged holdout. With Ayuk and Williams on board and Pearsall's recovery, the team says they're ready for their first game of the season Monday against the New York Jets. This is a great way to open the season um, against a great defense, against a great offense as well. Um, I think it'll be a good showdown. Now again, while Pearsall is doing well, all things considered, they are giving him at least four weeks to recover physically, mentally, emotionally after everything that happened. But General Manager Lynch said that he's confident that Pearsall will be able to make a contribution and get back on the field this season. Live at Levi Stadium, Zach Fuentes, ABC 7 News.